when life clobbers you across the head and knocks you down and you're in that dark valley, everything in your life is dark. And you're asking yourself, what am I gonna do now? And you're doubting yourself. These moments, these are what define your life. There's gonna be things that go on that are out of your control. The worst thing you can do is let something that's out of your control control you. Get control of yourself, get control of your emotions. Don't get angry, don't get frustrated. Instead, stay calm and figure out how to move forward. Things are gonna get harder, things are gonna get tougher. That's the way life works. So, what you need to do is you need to get harder and you need to get tougher. I'm talking to you, you're going through a storm right now. And I want you to know that this too shall pass, like every storm that has come to you, every single storm, this too shall pass. Just because you fail don't make you a failure, and just because you lost don't make you a loser. Whatever you're going through right now, if you can just muster up enough strength to hold on and hold out, I don't care how long it takes you to finish school, hold on. I don't care how long it takes you to pass that bar exam, hold on and hold out. If you do not quit, if you do not give up, it's coming, baby. I want you to speak life into that thing. Whatever it is, you feel like, I can't fail another test. I can't go through another day like this. I can't handle it. Whatever your circumstances are, say with me, I can. I can get through this. I will. I will get through this. I must. You're not a product of your environment. You're not a product of your external storm. What you have or what you don't have, where you come from or what you don't come from. The traumas, the abuses, the good and the bad. None of that dictates, but it's what you will do in the moment. What's your response? What you do matters. As long as there's breath in your lungs, there's hope in your heart. As long as you're breathing, yes, you can. You have got to make a declaration that I am going to get through this. I am tougher than this. I'm bigger than this. I'm stronger than this. I will not surrender. Because whatever challenge is in front of me, it pales in comparison to the power within me. You have got to take full responsibility of your life. I got myself here. I can get myself out. And I am getting out. I am not going to be a volunteer victim. You will take full ownership. It's my fault. It's my problem. I'm coming up with the solution for it. It's my fault. It's my problem. It's my solution. I'm taking ownership. You got to increase your willpower because you're going to go through it. You got to look at life when life knocks you down and says, this all you got? The dark? Is this it? I was born in the dark, shaped in the dark, molded by the dark. I will break you because I lived in the dark. I trained in the dark. I became this person in the dark. You recycle your pain. You use your pain. You take your pain and let your pain push you to another level. What you fast, what you ever thought you could do, what you ever thought you could be, what you ever thought you could have. You use your pain. You recycle it. I just need you to keep walking toward it. I don't need you thinking about it no more. You're doing too much thinking. You're analyzing too much. You're talking yourself out of it. I don't know if this is going to work. I tried and it didn't work. I just need you to keep moving. I need you to make up in your mind that the only way you can lose is if you quit. And I just need you to keep going. They make diamonds by one, putting it under pressure, two, putting it under extreme heat, and three, they cut it. When it finishes going through all of that, you cannot break it. I've been broken so much. I've been defeated so much. I've been disappointed so much in my life that I know what it feels like and I can handle it. Once you get to that point, you cannot be broken anymore. Find that reason to wake up every day and go get it. Everybody's got a dream. Everybody's got to go. But when you write your why down, what your why does for you is say, you can't quit. You can't give up. You can't stop. Your spouse is going to push you. Your child is going to push you. The need to get better is going to push you. Because you're closer than you're ever going to be, it's going to push you. Your goals are going to push you. Your dreams are going to push you. The opportunity of a lifetime that happens in this particular time frame is going to push you. It's going to drive you. You. you have to make a decision that I will learn from this thing. Every experience is my education. I have already made up my mind that I know I will fall down. I know that I will stumble, but I already see myself getting back up. Therefore, I'm never down. I'm either up or getting back up. I'm going to learn. You will never, ever be successful until you turn your pain into greatness, until you allow your pain to push you from where you are to push you to where you need to be. Stop running from your pain.
pain and embrace your pain. Your pain is going to be a part of your prize, a part of your product. I, I challenge you to push yourself. If you would be willing to fight your way through this battle, fight your way through cancer, fight your way through that academic struggle, fight your way through divorce, fight your way through that singing career, fight your way through boxing, fight your way through football. At the end of the fight is going to come victory. I challenge you to never give up. You're going to be here one day, but you'll never get here if you give up, if you give in, if you quit. And finally, guys, you got to want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe. And as you crawl up and out of that dismal and wretched place, as you rise above what you were, and as you take the form of who you are supposed to be, in the very act of standing up, in the very act of fighting on, you will become and you will remain unbroken. Everybody in your life will have a turn back moment. No matter who you are, you're going to have such a period in your life where it seems like it's not working. You're going to have doubts. You're going to have a lot of trials and tribulations and challenges. You always have a moment in your life where the direction you're going you will have to make a decision to keep going or you turn back. The sad thing is, the average person turns back. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life, because that's gonna happen. All that matters is that you gotta get up. Fall down, get back up again. Fall down, get back up again. Fall down, get back up again. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. The hardships that we've had are actually the things that teach us the skills and the perspective we need to actually become what we want to be. And if you quit, if you falter, if you stop, all the pain will be for nothing. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. I don't care how low you are. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have experienced. I don't care how devastated your life might appear to be. The shambles it might be in. Wherever you are in life, ladies and gentlemen, you've got comeback power. There's a power in you that can enable you to be stronger and better than anything that's out here. Once you begin to know who you are, once you discover this power, the perfect essence of who you are, that's in all of us, that's permeating our being, that enable us to be the directors of our lives, it will set you free from believing, I can't see myself doing any better, that you truly can live a healthy, happy, prosperous life, and that you can make it in what are called the worst of times. Tough times never last, but tough people do, and you are tough. Whatever it is I want, this price is gonna get much higher than this. It's gonna get harder than this. And I've decided in advance it's going to be difficult, and I've decided in advance to stay in. I'm gonna stay in the hunt. I'm gonna stay fighting. I'm gonna stay busting it. I'm going to pay the price until I get what it is that I deserve. The people in life that win play offense, not defense. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bow your back a little bit. Start to walk a little different. Start to be that best version of you. You have to resolve yourself today that you're going to win, that you're going to dominate, that you're not average and ordinary. There has to become a point where you make a decision. We're gonna dominate. We're here to win. We are not here to play. And that takes some intestinal fortitude. It takes a decision. I'm where I'm at because I just flat decided at some point, I get to choose who I am. The world doesn't tell me who I am. And in every family, there's a the one that eventually shows up in a family. They rise up and changes the whole family forever. I'm the damn one. And in your family, you could be the one. It's you. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. But you know it's going to be hard. But find out what will make it worth it for you. When life drops you to your knees, your reasons will help you get back up. Why are you here, Les? Because I want to make Mama proud. 
of you. Why are you here, Les? I promised my kids something to do for them. I'm gonna give them a better life. I want to leave them a legacy. I'm not gonna give up. Go back, go back, fool, go back. No, no. The people that are running after their dream know they're gonna have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. If we looked at your background, you should have had a nervous breakdown and lost your mind. You should have given up by this point. You should have thrown in the towel on yourself already. You should have walked away by now. But there's something in your gut, in your heart, in your spirit, in your innermost being. That said, hold on. That instinct, that still small voice is about to turn your life around. Regardless of the situation and circumstances, all the bad things happening around you, and what challenges you face now, you've got to believe in your heart of hearts that you can do it. It's gonna be a dog fight. And if you're soft, you wanna get out now. This is where you're like, I quit. Whatever you want, you gotta be willing to accept whatever come with it. Like adversity is adversity, opposition is opposition. But it's not so much about the opposition and the adversity that we face as it is about the perspective that we have about the opposition and the adversity that we face. When you want something, don't expect everybody to say, oh, come on in. Oh, you want this? Oh, great. We want to give this to you. You're such a nice person. You're doing it for your family, aren't you? Great. No, no, life isn't like that. No, many doors will be closed in your face. Many loans that you will want. And they say, no, you don't have enough collateral. You don't have enough credit. And most people will give up. But you've got to decide that I'm going to be fearless and I'm going to go all out. I'm going to be relentless. I don't care how many no's I encounter. I refuse to be denied. I challenge you to fight, to work, to not stop here, to believe so heavily in your aspirations that you too will not fear the word no, but instead you will choose to welcome it. And when you want it as bad as you want to breathe says, I'm willing to make any sacrifice, I'm willing to go through any pain, I'm willing to go through any suffering, I'm willing to go through whatever it takes. So when I get in there, I guarantee you at the end of it, I won't be the one that surrendered. So as we look at the future, we can decide that from this day forward, as I look at all the dimensions of my life, looking at myself mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, I'm going to do all I can do to develop me, to bring my talent out here, to make a contribution to life. But is it easy? No. Is it worth it? Yeah. Yes, your life is worth it. Our biggest challenge is to look at our own lives and ask the question, how am I holding myself back? Am I being as creative as I need to be? Am I using every resource I have? Am I turning up every rock to find what I'm looking for? Am I being unstoppable? Am I being relentless? The only thing that holds you back is the thing between your two ears, your own mind. If you can increase your self-belief and see yourself doing better, you will. And the process is not supposed to be comfortable. So if it hurts, welcome to the big leagues. If you feel like you're under heat, praise God. If you feel like you're being pressured, praise God. But when God looks like he's pulling you back, eventually he gonna let you go. And the farther he pulls you back, the farther he pulls you back, once he releases you, boom. So when life happens, I don't just sit there and cry. I buck back, I buck back. We've come too far. We've been through too much. We've seen too much. We've had too many victories. We have seen defeat. We've looked defeat in the face and we've overcome it. We've come too far to give up now. We've come too far to be negative now. We've come too far to start overthinking now. Put yourself in a position where you can't retreat, where it's do or die, sink or swim. Here's what you'll find out. You'll develop incredible swimming skills. You'll find yourself stroking unlike you've ever seen before. Through the inspiration of desperation, you'll become more creative than ever before. Throw your whole self into it. See, most people go at it tentatively. They don't give all their stuff. They don't concentrate. You can't make a basket unless you shoot the ball. You can't hit a home run unless you take a swing at it. Most people won't even take a swing. If you want something, you've got to be relentless. You've got to decide, I deserve this and I'm going to have it. And you go all out. 
to get it. The spirit of resiliency, the spirit of grit, it's in your DNA, it's in your blood. Overcoming is in your blood. Getting through adversity is in your blood. We need to focus on where we're going, not where we come from and what's happening. You gotta tell life, I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you ain't dealt with me. You gotta tell bankruptcy. You gotta tell divorce. You gotta tell sickness. I don't know who you've been dealing with, but you come up against the wrong one this time. You can be and do whatever you want, and nobody can stop you. Nobody can stop you but you. If I can take it, I can make it. If you can take it, you can make it. If you can just keep believing when nothing in you is working, when all your external forces have given way, if you can just manage to somehow keep hoping, you have a chance. You just can't become hopeless. If you can just keep hope alive, you can make it. Because if you keep hoping, it is really faith. You just gotta transpose it into I hope this happened to I believe this can happen. Life is like a grindstone. It can polish you or it can pulverize you, depending on how you position yourself. There's one side of pain that's the suffering and the discomfort side of pain. But then there's another side of pain that's called effort. It's called glory. It's called if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something greater on the other side of it. Do I just sit there and settle? No, I don't. I say enough's enough, man, and I'm gonna make a change and I'm gonna keep going until I get it. You chase something that you believe you deserve until you get it. And it doesn't matter what happens to you. It doesn't matter how many times you've been fired. It doesn't matter how many people don't believe in you. you. Just go until you get it. Say it and actually mean it. Look in the mirror every fucking day and say, yeah, I'm proud of you. I believe in you. You can do anything you want. You are powerful. You say, if it's hard, then do it hard. I won't allow this to stop me. I don't have the option of easy. I don't have the option. And I don't think you do or any of us do. I'm going around trying to find a dream. That's a little dream that doesn't require much responsibility or not too stressful. It won't be too much of a hassle. No, no, no. All you need to do to get out in the arena of life is to say it's possible. In spite of the nose, yes, maybe this next call might do. It's possible this next job interview, this might be the one. I can do this. Every day you wake up, you gotta start with that vision. You gonna get up, you gonna get dressed, you gonna get out, and you gonna do what you've been called to do. And you gonna prove that everybody that tried to break you, everybody that tried to stop you, everybody that tried to kill your dream, you gonna prove all of them wrong. You've got to say yes. Yes to my dreams. Yes to me. Yes, I can. Doesn't matter how many failures I've made. Doesn't matter how many mistakes I've endured. Doesn't matter about what I've done. I can make it. And you got to believe even if there's no reason to believe. When everything appears to be going wrong, you're working on your dreams, and somebody that you love and trust decide to walk out on you, you still got to believe. When you see those things that you've been working on crumble in your face, you still got to believe. When friends who should be a source of strength and encouragement, relatives who should be there to inspire you and motivate you and tell you you can't do it, you still got to believe. With no money in your pocket and many times more month left at the end of the month than after your money, you don't know how you're going to make it, you know your paycheck's gone before you get it, you still got to believe. I don't care what it takes. I don't care how many speeches I have to give, how many seminars I have to give. I know I ain't got the money. I know I don't have the education, but I ain't gonna let that stop me. I'm gonna do it. And no matter what you're going through, as long as you still have breath in your body, as long as you're still alive, you're still in the game. Because anytime you wake up and you don't have a white chalk outline around your body, it's a great day. If I just stand long enough, I can pull this off. I can do it. I'm putting it out here. I'm not going to rest until I have it. It's necessary. I'm going to do it. It's on me. No one's going to make it happen for me. I get some help and assistance, but I know that it's on me. Will it be easy? No, it's going to be harder, but it doesn't matter what it costs. Because whatever you have to do, it's worth it because it's your life's purpose. And once you know that, it is done. It's possible you can live your dream. And if life's got you backed up, you can't quit. You can't give up. You can't stop. You fail a class, get back up and try again. You lose a job, get back up and try again. You put all your money in investment, get back and try again. If you start a business and it don't work, don't stop, don't quit. You will study as long as it takes. You won't go to sleep until you have the knowledge that it takes to do what you're able to do. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. 
If you do what is easy, complain about your situation or circumstances. Stand around and be a volunteer victim like everybody else. Surrender and give up on your dreams. Become depressed and bitter and angry. Anybody can do that. If you do what is easy, your life will be hard. But if you do what is hard, keep coming back again and again and again. Get up dressed every day, knowing some way, somehow, with a spirit of expectation, I can do this. If you do that over and over and over again, your life will be easy.